Hey guys, this is Catherine from Oracle Intuitions. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your weekly reading for May 24th to the 31st and we're going to be taking a look into the energies of the mind, body and spirit as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. Please remember that these are general readings so they may not resonate with everyone but I do suggest watching your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus readings as well to get a clearer picture of the week ahead. For those of you uh, that would wish an in-depth reading, you can contact me through oracleintuitions.com or my uh, Facebook and my Instagram pages at Oracle Intuitions and all the links are below in the description box. Also, on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time, we do live readings here on my channel. So these are mini readings. Um, and this is with my co-host Brandon Hauser and you know, we just provide as many readings as we can within the time period that we allot for that week. Also on Sundays, we bring on live guests. So these are all people in the spiritual field, whether they're psychics or tarot readers, uh, hypnotists, we had a witch. We like we have an amazing uh, array of guests that come on. So make sure that you watch us at two o'clock p.m. Mountain Time on Sundays. Uh, also, guys, remember, please click subscribe. Please click like and leave me a comment to let me know if this reading resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching and let's get into your reading and have an amazing week ahead. Thank you so much. This is your weekly reading for May 24th to the 31st. So we're going to be taking a look into the mind, body, and spirit, as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. So please remember that these are general readings. They may not resonate with everyone, but also take a look into your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs as well. All right, let's see what's coming through for you this week, Taurus. One second. Okay, so we have the four of coins coming in through the mind. For body, we have the magician. And for spirit, we have the four of wands. So some of you might be thinking about relationships. You might even be in this place of uh, wanting to develop a new relationship or perhaps even holding on to an existing relationship. Now, the four of wands doesn't always have to indicate relationships, but it truly is a card of some sort of completion. So this could have to do with your career. It could have to do with a new project that you're looking into, that you're looking into maybe possibly that this might be um, an end goal or something that's going to bring you a higher realm of completion in your current existence. Okay. So let's say for instance, you're looking into a new job. Are you looking into that job as being something that is going to be long lasting, like a sense of completion, but the four of wands, when this comes out for many tarot readers, we, we tend to take a look at it is sort of a sense of completion within relationships. Now within your mind, you may be in this place where you're looking at this four of coins. So this is hanging on to something. And I feel that for some of you, you may be wondering, should I hang on to a possible existing relationship? Now, this doesn't always need to be romantic. This could be a relationship with self. It could be with friends, family, coworkers. Take it as it resonates with you. But also, it feels as though you're trying to draw in something new. Okay, with this magician, you may be trying to manifest something. You may even be in this place of wanting to have a sense of complete completion within a relationship, whether this is a sense of completion and satisfaction and moving to the next step in some possible way, or a sense of completion in possibly, you know, um, having a completion with self. So sometimes when we leave a relationship, it's because we want to develop ourself more so than we do uh, within the relationship. Okay, so let's take a look and see what spirit has to say as far as confirmation in regards to these cards. And remember, we're going to be taking a look into relationships uh, specifically as well. So we'll see what's coming through also. So for the four of coins, let's get some clarification. So for the four of coins, we have reclaim. Okay, so it's interesting because when we're talking about holding on, um, that four of coins, this is, can sometimes be, you know, something that you're not really willing to release, maybe something that you're wanting to hold on to. So with the reclaim, I feel like you may be wanting to reclaim 
something within your life, whether this is a relationship or again, it might even have to do with a sense of self. Maybe you're wanting to reclaim a sense of your identity or a sense of your own persona, or maybe perhaps, you know, bring in something of a past, um, I, I kind of want to say a past part of your personality. Did you let something go over the last little while? Are you trying to reclaim it now? You want to hang on to it? Or maybe in this sense, you may not be willing to release it, okay? So we also have death. So we have the magician coming through with the death card. So the death card really talks about rebirth. It's never really about, you know, um, physical death. Although some readers read it like that, but I do not. It, it's really about a sense of rebirth, okay? So rebirthing something, transitioning something, transmuting something. You may be wanting to transmute a relationship. Um, and, and the reason I keep talking about relationships specifically is because of this four of wands that's coming through. So some of you may be looking at a relationship and saying, you know what? I really want to reclaim this relationship, whether it's a relationship that you're currently in, or maybe perhaps it's a relationship that you've been wanting to bring in. And you may be looking at it in a different way, you may be having a new perspective towards it and saying, look at, I, I think I really want to start working towards this. What can I do? How can I manifest this relationship? And again, it doesn't need to be romantic. It can be any type of relationship and it can be a relationship with yourself, okay? So what I keep getting here is it feels as though you're trying to transmute something from one place to the next. You're trying to advance it to some degree. Um, you, you may be letting go of things from the past and bringing in something new. We've also got that Four of Wands, which is talking about connect, look at this, connect to heart. This is exactly what I'm saying. Um, connect to heart. So you're wanting to open up your heart energy. And, and I feel like this upcoming week is going to be a time to sit within yourself, to sit within yourself and ask yourself, you know, what is it that I want to reclaim? What is it? How do I open up my heart energy? How do I allow myself to move forward or to manifest some type of relationship that I want to bring forward? Okay. And I feel like this is what, what spirit is asking of you at this time is it's asking you and it might even be somebody that wants to come to you. Okay. So this might even be indicating somebody that is trying to come towards you and spirit is asking you to, you know, connect to your heart. Is this a relationship that you want? Is this the relationship that you've been desiring? I feel like they're asking this of you. Is this something that you want to reclaim and bring towards you? All right, so let's get one more set of clarification and see what spirit has to say. I really like this because it's really asking you, Taurus, not only to open up your heart for others, okay, but also to open up your heart for yourself. Maybe this is a time where you need to go into yourself and discover what is my next step? What is it that I truly want? for, you know, for the future, for me, um, you know, not just for others or to bring others in, but what is it that I truly want? What is going to make me feel complete within myself? First card coming in is unmarked trail revelation. So you've had a revelation and it feels like for some of you, and it, it's interesting because this is also, if you look at the card, it's very green. It's, we have this heart energy coming through again. So there's a lot of heart energy that spirits asking you to take a look into. And with this revelation, you may have had this revelation of what it is that you want to reclaim within yourself with that four of pentacles or something that you had or want to hang on to sometimes we think that we need to i'm also hearing this so sometimes we feel that we need to release a part of ourselves in order to connect to our heart and i feel like spirit is saying you're in a place okay perhaps take another look another perspective perhaps you're already in the place that you can connect to your heart especially if somebody is is making you feel like you have to change or you have to you know move away from a part of yourself or and you know change an element with within your own energy okay sometimes you know people will come in and they'll be like you know, maybe you should change this or you would be great if you were like this, you know, however they say it, right? Um, but I, I feel like spirit is saying to you, look at, 
have that revelation that you're good enough as of right now. If you make changes, make them for you. Connect to your own heart energy and make those changes for you. We also have here lost compass, getting back to integrity. Exactly. Because it feels like this rebirth coming in. Who is it that you are? Who do you want to manifest? Who do you want to create for yourself? Who is it that you are? And I feel like it's now t getting back to integrity. Did you lose a part of yourself in the process of a relationship? Or did some part of a relationship make you feel like you weren't being yourself? Okay, and this is something very important. This is what I feel like Spirit is asking of you at this time. Get back to your own integrity. Remember that a person should be coming in to make us better, okay? Which doesn't mean make us better by telling us how to do things or, you know, demanding things of us. It, it's basically saying that, you know, this person should match your morals, your integrity, who you are inside, not just you know, changing who you are to please them. And I feel like this is what spirit is trying to say at this moment. We also have repairing the veil forgiveness. So if at some point, Taurus, this is what I'm feeling. It feels like, again, reclaiming that heart, okay? Connecting to your heart energy. There may be parts of yourself that you let go okay or that perhaps you changed in a way that you didn't you didn't particularly like within yourself or maybe there was somebody that was kind of demanding a change from you in some way however that relates to you okay they're asking you to forgive now forgiveness doesn't just come with forgiving others forgiveness comes from forgiving ourselves as well and they're asking you to connect to that heart energy in order to have a sense of completion okay maybe perhaps at this time whether it's somebody else or it's with you or maybe it's both it's time to allow forgiveness to come in in order to reach the sense of completion so this is what i'm feeling so it's i feel like the advice from spirit and we'll be taking a look into that and getting a you know message from the universe but i do feel that this is a week where you go into a state of contemplation within yourself allow yourself that energy to you know not only forgive yourself forgive others take a look at those beautiful elements that you have inside of yourself in order to bring through a sense of a relationship whether this is external or whether this is a relationship with oneness okay so let's get some cards in regards to relationships what does spirit have to say in regards to relationships have the strength and also destruction interesting card so let's see what is coming through now when we talk about destruction i don't feel that this is in the sense of you know something negative okay it doesn't mean that relationships are going to be destroyed what i am getting here is to have the strength to you know destruct old thoughts uh negative you know emotions that are perhaps coming in maybe a sense of self that you were hanging on to which isn't of the most positive aspect of yourself at this time this is what i keep getting it feels as though for some of you you may be moving on from a relationship of some sort but i feel like this relationship is going to be something that perhaps maybe that you're making that step away from okay and even if it is coming from an external source maybe somebody saying look at you know i i just don't think this is the time at this moment I feel like this is coming in for a particular reason. That destruction card is like the tower card within tarot. When the tower card comes in, this is because of the divine. The divine is coming in for a reason. Now, again, this might be just looking at a mindset, okay? It doesn't need to be within a relationship, but let's see what cards are coming through. So it talks about key on a ring, new options, uh, decisions, yeah. Uh... I can't read that, sorry. Unconventional string along, one night stand. So for some of you, maybe you felt that either you or perhaps somebody around you was in a place of bringing in, uh, 
you know, one night stands. Maybe they weren't in full commitment mode. Maybe they didn't want to commit. Maybe you didn't want to commit. Maybe you're even questioning the fact of commitment in some sense. All right. And I feel like spirit is asking you, it maybe it's time. Okay. If you're only looking at other options or one night stands, or maybe you're not ready for commitment, are you destroying in some sense yourself or perhaps others? Remember that when we have uh, relationships, even if they're just for a few hours or for, you know, a couple of nights or whatever it is, we have to make sure that everybody is on the same page, that everybody has an understanding. And so we could be talking about our own morals and our own integrity. Remember that integrity card came in, right? So this could be talking about maybe it's time to take a look at your own morals, your own integrity, or the integrity and morals of people around you. What is it that you need to forgive? Because sometimes when we're in a pattern of repeated uh, non-committal relationships, let's just say that, okay? Uh, when we're in this pattern, it's sometimes because we're missing something. Or maybe perhaps we have a mindset that, you know, we're not ready for that commitment. And that's fine. But just make sure that everybody's on the same page. But we also have to bring in forgiveness for those that aren't in that same mindset. Or perhaps for those that are bringing that sense of non-committal to us. All right? Next card coming in, a mask. So it talks about not showing true feelings, hiding, personality, uh, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. Exactly what I just talked about. And it's interesting, uh, whether this is you or whether this is somebody else. Now remember, this does not need to be romantic relationships. These could be friendships. These could be co-workers. They could be family members. But I feel like there may need to be some honest conversations, maybe perhaps not with others, but also maybe not only perhaps with others, but also within ourselves and looking at what are our actions? What have our actions been towards others or what have other actions been towards us? All right, let's get one more and see what's coming through. It says not today. So uh, not dealing hurt. Avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries, still angry. So if there's somebody, if you're not moving on is what I'm getting here, Taurus. If you're not moving on or if you're not allowing a sense of forgiveness to come in, I feel like spirit is asking you to go into yourself. And again, whether this forgiveness is towards yourself, towards others, towards family members, whatever it is, I feel like this is the time to really sit down this week and, and take a good hard look, not only at your actions, but perhaps the actions of others. Because I feel as though there's there comes a sense of completion for this week. And again, I feel like this could be a sense of completion within some sort of mindset, okay? Um, it could be actual relationships. But it for me, it feels more like there needs to be a forgiveness. You're looking at yourself and saying, you know what? I, I forgive my past actions. I forgive the past actions of others. But now I'm taking a step forward. I'm taking a step forward towards that sense of completion that I'm seeking in my life, whether it's in relationships, whether it's within jobs, careers, however it relates to you, okay? I'm looking for that sense of completion. It doesn't mean that you have to make any decisions, you know, making a, a, a solid confirmation of some sort of decision, right? But it's saying, start looking ahead. What is it that you wanna draw into your life at this time? So let's get a card from the universe to close it out. And let's see what the universe has to say at this time. Ancestral Wisdom, Lay of the Land, and also Garden of Vetus, Rest and Renewal. This is exactly it. So, you know, what I had said about meditation or just taking a rest or, you know, going into yourself during this upcoming week. I feel like it's time to just rest and get that renewal that is going to be necessary to help heal old and past wounds, again, either from others or from yourself. It is also talking about ancestral wisdom. So this could be connecting to uh, your guides, your spirit team. This even could be dealing with perhaps, again, some of you, this might be family wounds that are coming through, okay? Do you feel like 
in in some sense you're either drawing in ancestral patterns or perhaps you're dealing with some sort of family issues whether they're from the past or whether they're you know currently moving uh you're dealing with them currently however it is but i feel as though for most of you and this even could be past life type of um things that are coming through maybe not even in past lives but maybe perhaps a past life meaning like you know sometimes we bring in old wounds from when we were younger okay or childhood or you know at, at some other point of our life are we reliving those and this might be a time to really clear them up so this is what i'm getting for you for this upcoming week taurus and i truly hope that this has helped if this reading resonated with you please make sure you click subscribe please click like and make sure you join us on wednesdays at 6 p.m and at sundays at 2 p.m mountain time for both thank you so much and have an amazing week Many blessings.